I am Kirk Rasmussen, manager in styling for Harley Davidson. Ben McKinley, I'm designer with Harley Davidson Styling. Been there for a couple of years now. So with Breakout, we wanted to really take the soft tail family in a low, long, lean, pure direction, more muscular. So you'll notice that we've got this long and a low bike, but it's compact as well. And so it's, we're kind of loosely inspired by some of our late 60s drag bike experiences, even though Ben wasn't alive at the time. <laughs> uh, not really handcuffed by that theme. So we've got large uh, wheels and tires on both ends, but we've chopped everything that's extraneous off the motorcycle. Every part has a purpose to it. And you notice this uh, low profile that we have, you know, it starts with the tires and fenders and goes through the seat and uh, console handlebars. And we just want this bike that's um, very tough, uh, low, and it has a pretty aggressive riding stance. Yeah, so if you look at the bike, it's really all about kind of the wheels and the tires and the engine and kind of the stance and how that all kind of pulls it together. So it's everything that's not engine or wheels are really important for making it go is kind of pulled into the center or kind of dipped in sort of a gloss black to make it disappear a little bit. And like low bars, low console, everything's sort of and it's really minimized so your eyes looking in the right place, which is, which is sort of the hardware that makes it go. So a really important part of Breakout was to really give it this sort of tough, muscular, sort of slammed stance. And so you can see it's got really wide, beefy tires, both front and back, but the rear is, it's really where the emphasis is. It's a 240 millimeter tire, and it's really kind of gives it that stance. So Kirk and I both really like kind of low slammed handlebars and keeping this area as, sort of as minimal as possible, but even aside from the look, it's, it's almost more about how you feel on the bike when you're really kind of leaned into the wind and it's a really kind of an aggressive riding position, but we kept it, at least we kept it pretty comfortable too. So it's, I mean, it might look like a bike that you'd want to take from bar to bar or run a couple of errands or something like that, but it's, I mean, it's something you could take out to Sturgis or could ride it down to Daytona and still be totally comfortable. So our gasser style wheel is also somewhat inspired by some of our, uh, uh, you know, mid last century racing experiences. Uh, we call it the a gasser wheel because it has these alternating spokes and we highlight each alternating spoke so it kind of looks like there's five spokes on each side when it's really a 10 spoke wheel. But it's a fairly lightweight wheel and it, it makes our bike uh, a little more dynamic. I want to kind of want to drop a name on this and that one of our great engineers on the team, John Walansky, worked on a lot of the gloss black parts and, and um, gave him some real headaches because of the design and testing process that we had to go through to make those valid. But I asked him, so what's your favorite part on Breakout? And he says, well, I'll have to say is uh, as big a headache as the gloss black parts gave me, those are my favorite parts. It makes the whole bike seem unified and tight. So that was nice that he really takes ownership on that. Uh, since we have to machine after the paint, we paint it uh, a flat black or a denim black in our terminology and then machine it and then put a clear over it and that gives it that deep gloss look and so it also that's helping bring this bike together and unify it in this uh, glossy black. So for the graphics we wanted to do something that was uh, really understated but still premium and gave the bike some speed so Lance Dobersek in our studio came up with this concept where you see this uh, the spear running from front to back through the really kind of tough and gnarly medallion, but just gives the bike some, some premium detail without being too over the top. So again, when you look at uh, this motorcycle, you see it's a low, long, lean line and somewhat influenced by growing up near Magna, Utah and going to the Bonneville Raceway and, and watching those uh, drag bikes and cars and being uh, very much influenced and impacted by that in my early years. If you weren't around in the late 60s, you witnessed that stuff firsthand. I think you still appreciate the really aggressive stance and 
how it feels to ride this bike and sort of the, the low slung muscular nature of it. Uh, we hope you'll really love this motorcycle. We can't wait to see people out there with grins on their faces and bugs in their teeth.